Okay, welcome back. We're on uh, Unit 10, and we're finding percentages. If we look at this thousands block right here, okay, so I'm looking at the thousands block right here, okay? If I look at that thousand block, and I'm telling you um, that it is one whole, this is what I'm representing as one whole. I know it's made of a thousand little pieces, but I'm going to set this as equaling, equaling the whole. So this is one. So what does that mean when I look at the hundredths block? So that would be 100, right? Out of a thousand, right? And so that's like looking at this side piece here. And now if I was thinking about, okay, if each one of these things, I've now cut the whole into these pieces and I'm only talking about this section here, how much am I talking about? Um, well, I am then talking about, I've cut it into 10 pieces, right? And so I'm talking about one tenth of the piece of that whole, okay? So let me just get rid of this here. Okay, so this is not 100 pieces. This is now just one piece. So one piece out of those 10 pieces. And if I was talking about and wanted you to draw this, you would be able to draw this very easily, right? Now, if I am looking now at this tens block, okay, switching colors here, what would that represent as part of our thousands block here? Well, it would be this small piece right here, okay, from the top to the bottom there. So that would be much, much less, right? So if I think about it in terms, let's think about it in terms right now of this hundreds block here. This would be one tenth of the hundreds block. So um, if I'm thinking now in terms of what, what it is in comparison to um, the whole, this would be one, one hundredths, right? Okay. And then now, if I'm thinking about this ones block as being part of the whole, okay, let's do it in blue here. Okay, that would just be one little tiny piece there. And now I've cut it all into a thousand pieces. And so this would be one thousandth. Okay, now thinking about the one thousands okay this would be written as a decimal and uh, to the thousands place right zero zero one right that's a one there okay now I have 100 written as a decimal one hundredths and this is zero decimal zero one because the one would be in the hundredths place and then one Tenth would be zero decimal one. Now I know how to use these and what I've um, put them to represent. So if I have one tenth of um, a whole, which is uh, this one here. So I have, I'm gonna write this out, choose a different color. Okay, so I have one tenth of uh, the whole, so one, that's going to be equal to zero decimal one. So that is what I've made this flat equal to. Okay, now I'm going to take one tenth of that one tenth of the whole. And that is going to be equal to zero decimal zero one. And I want you to really pay attention to what's happening with um, the decimal place there. So from here to here, when we take one tenth of something, what's happening to the place value? And I'm taking one tenth here of the one one hundredth. And this is going to be obviously one one hundredth. 
or the one 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 thousandths thousands. Okay, this is the same as when we multiply by tens. If I multiply by a ten, right? What happens to that decimal? Well, if I multiply one by ten, okay, the decimal place moves. Okay, so there's always a decimal here that you don't see, right? So it moves one place to the right. If I'm multiplying by a tenth, what's happening to that decimal place? Well, it is moving to the left. And then I multiply by a tenth to, again, and it's moving to the left. So if I wanted to build um, a model of, let's scroll up a little bit here. If I wanted to build a model of one decimal six, what would that model look like using the thousands block as the whole? So I'm just gonna click here. There's the one, right? I'm gonna drop that here. And then um, what would I, how many tens block or rods would I use, okay? Or sorry, flats would I use? So that would be one, and put it, well, I guess it's there now, two, three, four, five, and six. Right, so if I was going to build this problem, okay, these hundreds blocks, the flats, would be what's equal to the decimal place here, the tenths place here, and the one hole would be equal to the hole there. It's really important that you guys learn to visualize this because it stimulates that visual math part of your brain. So hopefully this made sense for you.